Hi, welcome to SEE1063 electronic device. I'm Hamdi and my partner Daniel. Today, we will present about a diode zener as a voltage regulator. It's important to know about it if you had a numerical problem from diode zener then you have to understand all the point in this lecture from this video okay firstly i will start explain about voltage regulator what is voltage regulator a voltage regulator is a combination of element that designed to ensure that the output volt output supply remain constant in a specific value Diode zener, a famous component that can be used as a voltage regulator. To design the voltage regulator using zener diode, firstly, you have to understand the operation of zener diode. Now, I will show you IV characteristic of zener diode to make you understand it clearly. Okay, now what we have here is a Zener diode IV characteristic curve. So, what we got here in a forward bias, Zener diode uh, operation is similar as a regular diode. But in a reverse bias, it's a little bit different because it has a breakdown voltage which is VZ. To operate it in a reverse bias, the voltage potential across the Zener diode must equal or more than a VZ, so it will operate it. Okay, now I I will explain to you there are four type of combination element that affected the voltage regulator circuit using Zener diode. Okay, there are four type combination. Firstly, the circuit that we have, V in and RL are fixed. Second, V in fixed and RL are variable. V in variable, RL fixed. And fourth, V in and RL are variable. Today, I will show you the operation of the first type of circuit. We know to operate the Zener diode, the voltage potential across Zener diode must more or equal to Zener voltage. So, we will start analysis on the circuit to find out whether the Zener diode will work or not. Here, we have a circuit that have voltage supply resistor and also the Zener diode which is VZ is equal to 13 volt V in equal to 20 volt and we also have RL which is resistor load equal to 1 kilo ohm to find out which which is the Zener diode operate or not we must find the voltage across the V V Zener diode which is more or less to the VZ. So we will start analysis. Okay, firstly I will label it. This is a positive, negative, and it's VRL. Here positive, negative, and here is VR and IR. Here IZ for the current of Zener diode and here is IRL to find out the Zener diode operate or not we must must find the voltage of the VRL which is same voltage will cross the Zener diode because it's parallel so I will start analysis by using voltage divider rule. Voltage divider rule V R L uh, equals to R L 
times V in divided by R total which is RL plus R RL we got here is 1 kilo ohm V in equal to 20 volt and R total is RL plus R which is 1 kilo ohm plus 1.5 kilo ohm so what we got here is it will equal to 8 volt we all know V in are equal to VR plus VRL which is voltage drop here and will drop here so to find the VR we just move this aside and it will be V in is equal to equal to V R V in minus V R L which is it will be 20 volt minus 8 volt and will become 12 volt ok we all know to operate the Zener diode voltage potential across it must more or equal to voltage Zener which is 13 volt we got here 13 volt and we got VR is 12 volt we got VRL is 8 volt so it will not operate it will act like open circuit when it open circuit which is VZ will equal to 0 oh sorry IZ equal to 0 when IZ equal to 0 formula of power is P equal to IV which is IZ and VZ so it will become IZ 0 times VZ VZ is 13 and will become to 0 so how about we change the RL equal to 5 kilo ohm I will show you Okay, now we got the same circuit. I just only change the RL to the 5 kilo ohm. Now we will start analysis again. We will use voltage divider to find this VRL and VR IR IZ and also. I R L voltage divide the rule for to find the voltage across the VRL we will use the voltage divide the rule which is VRL equal to R L times V in divided by R total which is R L plus R It will be RL equal to 5 kilo ohm times 20 volt for V in divided by R total which is RL plus R 5 kilo plus 1.5 K and will equal to 15.386 volt. Yeah, that's right. So we all know V in are uh, equal to V R L minus plus sorry plus V R. If we look here, we found V R L voltage across here is 15. So V uh, voltage across here also 15.386. To and we know the diode Zener will operate and the output voltage will become 13 volt only 
because it has been regulated. So, to find VR, VR uh, equal to V in minus VRL, which is 20 volt minus 15.386 volt for VRL and will be 4.614 volt. Now we will find the value of IRL which is IRL uh, equal to VRL divided RL. We all know VRL is equal to VZ so it will become 13 volt. Okay, I will write here VRL is equal to VZ equal to 13 volt. So to find IRL we just use the value VZ 13 volt divided by 5 kilo ohms and it will become 2.6 milliamps. To find IR we just use Kirchhoff rule which is VR divided by R. The value of VR we got here is 4.614 divided by 1.5 kilo ohms and it will become 3.07 milliamps. Now we got IRL and IR. So we can find IZ which is we will use current Kirchhoff rules. V in equal to V out. So IZ uh, equal to IR which is I in for the circuit minus I L. IR we got here is 3.07 3.07 milliamps minus IL we got here 2.6 milliamps so we got here equal to 0 0.47 milliamps now we got VZ so it easy to find the power across the v, across the diode zener. Okay, the formula for power is P Z equal to V Z times I Z, which is V Z is equal to equal to thirteen thirteen volt here thirteen volt times I Z I Z here. 0 0.7 milliohm times 0 0.47 milli m sorry my mistake so it will become 6.11 milli watt the unit for the power is what so i hope you understand clearly for the first circuit the value of the value of RL is 1 kilo ohm and it will be will make the diode zener no op, will not operate because the voltage potential across the diode zener is less than VZ but when we change the VZ the sorry the RL equal to 5 kilo ohm and the voltage potential across the VZ is equal to 15.386 so the diode zener will operate so we can start analysis and until we get the power for the v for the diode zener so clearly diode zener can be used as a voltage regulator when it operate all the volt output voltage will be same as a vz 
value of breakdown voltage for diode zener VZ. Okay, I hope you will understand all the explanation and op the operation of diode zener as a voltage re regulator clearly. It's important to understand zener diode operation characteristic and also the rule to operate the zener diode when you use it as a voltage regulator. Okay then, until next time. Bye. Assalamualaikum.